Now, here's something really interesting, Zoe. We can train our bodies for fitness, right? Yes. We can train our minds for new jobs. We train our hands for different skills and so on. But did you know you can train your brain to be happy. Mm, that's right. We know we can change many things about our bodies and our lives, mm -hmm. but if we're unhappy, we seem to just accept it, Ed. But it doesn't have to be that way. Well, according to social scientist Dr Ali Walker, we can train our brains to be happy. And she's here with us now to explain. Hi, Dr Ali. Hello. Hello. It's funny, isn't it? The search for happiness seems to be just a little bit out of reach for some. Well, but why so? Yeah, well, if the core of my work is that we have these brains that are designed for survival and not for happiness. Uh. And so it really gets in the way because all of us ultimately want to be happy. Yeah. And so there's things that our brain does for survival reasons. It's designed for an ancient reality, not for today's complex modern reality. So in many ways, our brain's working against us in terms of feeling happy. So I'll give you a few examples. Right. We tend to overthink and worry all the time. You totally. Know, will I be able to pay the bills? Are my children happy? And then what we do is we think of all of these ways and speculate about the things that could go wrong. That helps us in terms of survival, but in terms of happiness, it's not great. Now, neuroscientist Alex Korb tells us that we can actually reverse this pattern by using the practice of gratitude, which has the same impact as an antidepressant. It releases the exact same chemicals in our brain. So I set timers each day for gratitude to reverse the direction of my brain because if you think about the habits that we have, mm -hmm. a little bit like a freeway so the the habits that we have of negative thinking and worry are a little bit like the freeways that we all go down but reversing those habits is almost like walking down a nature track and creating new tracks in our mind which is totally possible fascinating so the power of gratitude it comes back to us time and time again great tips make a decision whatever that might be and name, name it name some of those fears Susie and Harold yeah Harold with you busy busy place inside my head thank you Dr Ali great stuff as always <laughs>